a very exciting new therapy that we have here at Nebraska Medicine, and we've been doing clinical trials on this for a couple of years. And this is a therapy where patients who, with uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, who have failed multiple other therapies and really had really no other options to them. The problem with patients with lymphoma and potentially other cancers who don't respond to regular therapy, their own immune system, their own lymphocytes do not see their cancer as being foreign and do not fight it. In this case, we take the cells out of the patient's blood. We work together with a pharmaceutical company who actually genetically engineers the cells or teaches them to be able to notify the, the patient's immune system that it's a foreign substance and help to fight it. Would it be biggest? No. I live in Fort Collins, Colorado, and I'm an elementary school teacher, and I was diagnosed and had three different types of chemotherapy over a year. I had gotten to the point where there was no other therapy for me to do, so they sent me here. They said it's the best in the nation to see what Dr. Vos would recommend that I do, and I was lucky enough to get in to the trial. The patients received some chemotherapy to deplete their own immune system, which is not working well, and then they received back their own stem cells, uh, in this case the CAR T cells, which have been genetically modified to understand their own cancers being foreign. These cells then um, circulate through the bloodstream, through the bone marrow, through the organs, and find the lymphoma wherever it's hiding and help the patient's own immune system to fight their own lymphoma. As this therapy continues to evolve, I think Nebraska Medicine is committed to investing the time and the resources to grow this and bring this to the citizens of Nebraska, but also to the region uh, here in the Midwest to come to Nebraska Medicine to get this therapy. When I came, I um, had a tumor in my chest next to my heart and lungs that was back to the original size, which was about the size of a grapefruit, a large grapefruit. And if I had not been here, come and had the treatment even as quickly as I had, then I, I just know I wouldn't be alive right now. After three weeks, I was almost back to normal and, and cancer free. I'm back teaching full time. I'm doing everything that I would normally do. So I, I feel great and I come back every three months and see Dr. Vos and have a PET scan and so far they've been clean. The technology potentially in the future could be something that can be utilized for many different types of cancers uh, with a lot of further research. So I think the, the concept and the technology is something that's going to be greatly expansive over the next several years in a big way. When I heard that it was available for other people, I couldn't stop smiling and kind of like right now, you almost want to burst into tears because you're just so happy that people will get the same treatment I had and be able to live hopefully long, healthy lives, not hear that, sorry, there's nothing else we can do because that's a horrible thing to have to hear.